Hey up everyone, Magpie Gaming here. I hope you're all doing well. So we are pretty close, I think, now to the next patch for Escape from Tarkov 0.12. I have been saying in the majority of my videos that we'll be looking at getting this patch in September time. The amount of images and social media posts that Battlestate are putting out recently is quite a lot. There's a lot of images coming out of things that are going to be in the game. We're getting images from the new military map, so they're definitely ramping up the, uh, the excitement for this next patch so it could be that it comes out sometime this month maybe but we'll wait and see anyway i thought i would take a more in-depth look at the weapons we're going to be getting in this patch i've mentioned them in previous um when i've broken down the podcast that they've done i've mentioned what weapons it talks about we do have four weapons confirmed but i've never really gone into the details of those weapons so we're going to do that in this video so the very first weapon that we're going to focus on is the ash 12 now the ash 12 is a 50 caliber bullpop close combat rifle this was developed for the Russian Federal Security Services and has been in use since 2011 principally designed for extreme short-range stopping power so they were looking at things like close quarters um, issues one of the ones that I've seen mentioned is crowd control <laughs> so I mean why would you be using a 50 caliber rifle for crowd control but it is developed for very close quarters combat it doesn't really have massive penetration power considering it's 50 caliber but the type of rounds that it uses means that it doesn't penetrate too far so there isn't like like correct collateral damage you're not going to shoot one person and the bullet's going to travel into others so it has a stock weight of six kilograms a muzzle velocity of between 900 uh, no sorry 200 190 and 315 meters per second and its effective range is between 100 and 300 meters and it uses 10 to 20 round magazines and it can be used in both semi and fully automatic modes it supports a various amount of optical sights muzzle brakes and suppressors and one variation of this gun even has an underslung 40 mm grenade launcher now i'm not saying that we're going to be getting that with this particular gun in escape from tarkov but they have spoken about grenade launchers in the past so it could be that we do end up getting the variant that will allow that to be attached there is of course a grenade launcher skill within the skills tree on escape from tarkov so it's definitely planned we just don't know when it'll be added into the game and this gun uses four different types of varying ammo so it's got different penetration values etc the next one that we're going to look at is the beretta m9a3 now this is a nine millimeter semi-automatic pistol mainly used by the american armed forces and has been in production since the mid 80s now the m9a3 model which will be in escape from tarkov is an updated model of the original M9 model. This update made the gun cheaper, lighter, larger magazines capac magazine capacities going from 15 to 17 rounds and it also includes a free slot rail so that you could have uh, removable sights and it also includes removable grips so I would expect to see some mods around the sights and the grips for that pistol. There are also other magazine sizes that are supported. It supports 18, 20 and 30 round magazine sizes. Not sure which ones of those will make it into Escape from Tarkov but if the other pistols are anything to go by then we might see all of those included. It has an unloaded weight of 970 grams, it has a muzzle velocity of 380 meters per second, an effective range of 50 meters and a maximum firing range of 100 meters. The next one we're going to look at is the FNP90. This has been rumored to be coming into game for a long time. We've seen renders of it that I think came out last year and they talked about putting it in this update and then putting it in that update but it is now confirmed for 0.12. It's billed as a personal defense weapon but basically you could just call it an SMG because that's what it is. Developed in Belgium and it went into full production in 1990 hence the name P90 and is currently used by around 40 military and police forces around the world. Weighing in at around 2.6 kilos it is it has a muzzle velocity of 715 meters per second and an effective range of 200 meters with a maximum firing range of 1800 meters and uses a detachable 50 round translucent magazine. At 900 rounds per second I believe that it is the highest RPS gun in the game. I think the HK416 is at, I think it's at 850 rounds per second so I think it just trumps that a little bit. Due to the P90's popularity it has spanned a number of variants so of course there are a number of attachments available for the weapon. You've got all the usual suspects such as tactical lights, lasers, optics and more. 
How many of those and which ones will be included in the game, again, is anybody's guess. We'll just have to wait and see once it's included in the game to see what we actually get with it. I would assume that because it's been on the board for so long that there will be quite a lot of attachments and mods that will launch with this. I think it's been in development for the game for quite a long time. You know, it's not a weapon that they've just chosen and decided to put straight in. I think they've wanted to put it in at various points throughout the year, just not been at the stage to do that at that time. So I think we could see quite a lot of mods and attachments come out for this one. The next one is the MTS-255 Revolver Shotgun. Yep, that's it. It is just a revolver that uses shotgun shells, basically. So, it originates from Russia and was designed and produced by the same company that make the Ash-12. There are two versions of the gun in existence. There is a civilian version and a police version. The difference between them is that the police version has a folding stock and supports a rail for sight attachment. So far, it looks as though we're getting the civilian version within the game, so it doesn't look like it's going to support anything other than iron sights. But that could change. We might get the other variation in eventually so that we can add some um, maybe a different stock and some sights to it and it supports cartridge gauges of 12 20 28 32 and 410 bore so yeah there's an interesting array of weapons coming into the game i like the look of the revolver shotgun i think it, it's definitely something that i think the game lacks you it lacks the a very quick sort of high power stopping secondary weapon. I think the pistols are good. I'm looking forward to the Beretta, but to be perfectly honest, in my opinion, I don't use pistols very much because I don't find them to be very effective in the game. There's a few tasks that mean you have to use a pistol, so I've used you know, a pistol to complete those tasks, and then I never bother using a pistol again. But I think we're at the stage now in this game, once you've passed so many quests and you've got so much money, it would be nice to be able to carry a good secondary weapon. I think the revolver a shotgun would be a brilliant one. I've always thought about having the double barrel shotgun brought into the game. I think there's been a render of that re uh, previously and they did say that that would make it into the game at some point, but up to now it hasn't, so I think the revolver shotgun would be a good replacement. Of course you've got three more rounds over a double barrel shotgun, so that is good, although the loading time will be, you know, will take a little bit longer. As for the P90, we all know the P90. If you've played games, you know the P90 it is present in a lot of games. I'm looking forward to the animations for this gun, especially since it's got that translucent cartridge. I'm looking forward to seeing the animation of the bullets go down. You're going to know when you're going to need to reload in it as well. And I'm looking forward to the, re the reloading animation overall because of it being like a... It depresses into the top of the gun rather than being loaded underneath like a normal magazine. So I'm looking forward to that. The reloading animation for the revolver shotgun as well. Well, I'm looking forward to that one. I think, you know, Battlestate put so much effort and so much detail into those things that I think they're going to look really good within the game. I think that's maybe one of the reasons that the P90s took so long to be brought into the game. It's maybe the animations that surround that and how the gun looks as you're using it, the bullets you know vanishing out of the magazine being able to see it i'm just i'm really looking forward to that i like the detail that they put into those things so i think it's going to look really good overall i don't think it's a bad array of weapons coming into the game they're all arguably close quarter weapons i mean the video that you see of the ash 12 it looks as though you can get some range on that thing it looks as though it's not just going to be close quarters you're going to get some range on the p90 as well i mean it's got a, a maximum firing range of 1800 meters but how accurate it is over the effective firing range of 200 meters is going to be questionable you're probably going to have to spray and pray with that one if you want to kill anybody over that like distance but yeah some good weapons coming in i'm looking forward to them as i say these are all confirmed for 0 0.12 they have been in the previous like update notes for the next patch so i fully believe that they will make it into the game you know i always say with escape from tarkov when they say they're going to add something you have you've got to take it with a pinch of salt because sometimes things just don't make it out when they say that they will for varying reasons but i do believe that all four of these weapons are going to make it into the next patch and i'm looking forward to them i think they're good additions obviously like i say all close quarters but that's going to suit some maps labs factory probably even the military map because there's a lot of indoor areas in that so I think maybe that's where they're aiming these weapons at. You know, you're not going to bring out a map that's going to support more cl more close quarters combat and then give us a couple of sniper rifles to use. So yeah, a good array of weapons. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about these guns. You know, are you excited about them? Which one do you think you will favour more? I definitely liked the sound of the P90, but now that I've done some delving into the Ash 12, I definitely.
really like the look of that gun. The Ash 12 paired up with a revolver shotgun, I think that'd be a good combo. But yeah, let me know your thoughts and feelings in the comment section down below guys. And as always ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching and listening. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more Tarkov news. And I will catch you in the next one. Take care.